As technology continues to advance, more and more electronics are being plugged in. Just think about your own TV. You probably have a DVD, video games, cable boxes, wireless routers, video streaming technology, and they all use energy. Even when you're not actively using them, they still use energy. This is called phantom or standby energy use. Think of it like a dripping sink. A drip here and there doesn't mean much, but pretty soon you'll have a full sink of water. Each device that gets plugged in uses a little power. A TV, when it's turned off, will continue to draw some power. An adapter used to charge your phone will use some power even when a phone isn't charging. Phantom energy costs just pennies when compared to the power usage in the active mode. But most of us have 20 to 40 devices in our homes that use energy in a standby setting. Then those pennies can quickly add up to dollars. Many energy experts believe phantom energy can add up to 5 to 10 percent of your yearly utility bill. 5 to 10 percent. So how can you put that to a stop? First, let's find out what we're up against. Let's go around our house and find some things that just might be draining your power. Most of these items stay plugged in even when they aren't being used. Just like this TV, it's off, but it's still using power. So how do you know how much power is being used? This is a kilowatt meter. You can buy it for about $30 and all you have to do is plug devices into it to find out how much power it uses. Now you can enter the cost of kilowatt hours and you can find that information on your monthly utility bill and then set it to estimate your daily, monthly, or yearly cost. We've set this meter to read out our yearly cost. All you do is plug in and wait. Now it's recommended you wait 24 hours to get a good estimate, which we've done on all of these items already. Okay, let's start with the phone charger. If it's left plugged in without a phone, it'll cost you about 25 cents in a year. That's only if you left the charger plugged in and never add the phone. When you are charging a phone, it chimes in around $3.54 a year and once the phone is charged, the cost drops to about $2.15 per year. So really, once you have your phone charged, take it off the charger and unplug it from the wall. How about a DVD player? When it's plugged in and turned off, it's still costing you some money, about $1.49 per year. If it's on but not playing a DVD, it'll cost you about $7.25 per year. And if you just left it on all year, playing a movie over and over, it costs you about $9.54 per year. Now, these are small numbers, but once you start adding all of the appliances in your house, you can start to see just how much phantom power can cost you. Now, this one is something to think about. Many of us have external hard drives that you keep plugged in and attached to your computer. The average cost of a hard drive when it's plugged in and not being used is going to cost you about $1.98 per year. If you don't use the hard drive that often, just unplug it and let it sit until you need it. Now, what about a laptop? They're always being charged and some people leave them plugged in so they're always charging. But what's that going to cost you? An average laptop will cost about $44.28 per year while it is charging. When it's fully charged, that cost drops to about $29.48 per year. If you leave it connected to the power supply, sleep mode drops it to about $15.77 per year. And if you turn it off and leave it connected, it'll drop it even lower to about $8.90 per year. Take it off the charger and you're still going to rack up some dollars. The charger alone will draw about $4.42 per year. So really, just unplug the charger from the wall. Now, every household with a teenager has one of these, a video game. When powered down, it still draws power and could cost you about a dollar a year. But when it's powered up and ready, it could cost you over $20 a year, depending upon the power settings you have set up. Finally, let's add in all of our TVs. When they're turned off, they draw in enough energy to cost you around, okay, just a dollar a year. But that doesn't include a DVR or cable receiver, which also draws power when not turned on. When you add it all up, 
Energy experts think all of this standby energy could end up costing you about 5 to 10% of your annual utility bill. It all depends on how you use the appliances you're using and the cost per kilowatt hour in your area. So, take some time, go around your house, find out what little bits of energy are draining cash out of your wallet. You'll be surprised how many energy vampires are lurking around your home. Energy.